phone a friend because we are starting off with a big heat. Ethan Ewing, Matthew McGillivray, and Kelly Slater in this opening round. A reminder for those viewing the format winner of this heat goes straight into the round the 16th second and third place into that elimination round flick that we're going to see this afternoon maneuvers that are explosive and tight in the pocket or high in the lip we'll get back to that we're going to get back to that because we're going to see how kelly slater surfs to criteria with a couple of snaps from the 11 time world champ get just getting warmed up here arrived just moments ago i don't think he's gotten a, a wave in the warm-up so this is his warm-up wave and that's going to be the nice start for Kelly Slater. And this will set the scale for this heat and for most of the day. Let's see the finish. Alley oop. And <laughs> wow. Slater feels like he's on, finishing right there on the cobblestones. Kalani likes it. Here we go, Pete. Replay of Kelly Slater. So, this is, we've seen major set waves that are going to be much bigger than this. So, that's kind of going to be taken into account. But just, I guess, the, uh, the fluidity of his surfing is so good. His flow is the best in the world. I mean, that's what has won him 11 world titles is this flow that he matches the power of the wave, the speed of the wave. You know, it's not always about being the fastest, you know, when we talk about speed, it's about matching the speed of the wave. Um, and again, just a little cheeky alley-oop here. I don't think he'll get the completion. <laughs> They're watching closely early on as to what's happening out in the lineup. Well, right now we got Kelly Slater on wave number two. Thank you, Chris, as He's already opened up with a four-point ride. Now, Kelly's already showing the strategy that he's employing, getting a quick start, little drift there. So that turns pretty dynamic, a float to finish for Slater. Maybe he did read the text. <laughs> I think he did. A little slow to start the day. He's already got two numbers. What about this replay flick? Yeah, look, I liked it. What I noticed first was his positioning, especially at the start of the heat, he was the deepest. And just then he went back to the deepest point on the point. And he jacked this little wave that ended up hitting the point really nicely. That second turn there, releasing the fins. And I really liked that wave. That turn there, just that was his first turn coming up into this second section and releases the fins on the second turn and gets the finish with like a nice floater there. But I think this turn here, really nice, straight up into the lip, gets that release and really critical section there. I liked what I saw and straight back up into the lip to get the finish. Nice little lip line floater. But uh, yeah, maybe he did get the read. The <laughs> I, I was going to say, because I mean, <laughs> if you think about that second pair. And the chess game now is employed between Ethan Ewing and Matthew McGillivray, both in an open priority. Here we go, Matthew. He's going to pull the trigger on this one. McGillivray has to make some way down the line before that opening carve. One more snap. The South African double pump bottom turn. Big snap there. He's got more on offer on the inside here. Another snap from McGillivray. Hooks a turn. Looks for a finish. Guess that finish is going to get a little bit more. So this wave running way down the point, allowing multiple maneuvers for the 26-year-old out of J-Bay, South Africa. Goes for a little cheeky dismount there, unable to complete the ride. But he got some busy, busy work done throughout that entire wave, Pete. Longest yeah. wave of the morning. You know, punch above the lip and go two big reverses on the same wave. But ultimately here, just his warm-up wave flick. Yeah, beautiful first carving turn out of the top. Back up into the pocket for a second snap. And yeah, this wave just running so fast down the line. But his timing was really nice here at the beginning. Definitely one of the longer waves that we've seen. Longest wave so far of the morning. Bringing it through to the inside. And uh, look, his legs will probably be burning right now, I'd say. It's a really long wave. And he's looking to get it progressive here at the end. Throws a little reverse, but doesn't stick it. So... Live action now, Kelly out the back. Kelly on wave number three here and just has to toss that one away. So that will not factor into his score line. We'll be waiting for Matthew McGillivray's first wave. And we turn priority now into a patient Ethan Ewing. Matthew McGillivray on the paddle back out. Ethan Ewing's first wave, beautiful. Glide in, quick snap off the top, a little behind the ball. So he's going to have to get some speed down the line. And then he's going to belt straight into the corner. Ha! Right there, nice setup snap. Let's see as he comes down to the inside. Kaipo, take it away. All right, here we go. Ewing with more rail work on the inside here. Looking sharp as always. The body mechanics, the technique, the skill of Ethan Ewing on display. Just glued to his board. Throws that reverse, no problem. Straight into a combination of maneuvers. Like that was beautiful surfing. We'll look at this replay of Ethan's and straight up into the lip for a nice little snap there. But he can see that the wave's getting really fast here. So just down the line and then really lays into that second turn there but 
once he gets past this section, it, the wave just has a really nice pace to it, allows him to get a bit of uh, variety in his manoeuvres, and he knows he needs a bit of progression, so he throws in that little reverse and finishes nice and strong there. Probably known today was a big day. Oh, there we go, set wave. Kelly Slater on his fourth wave, finds a bigger set here. The 11-time world champ, smooth on the rail, big cut back to the rebound. Paced approach on the inside. A little bit of release off of that turn. And again, easing through a cutback, hoping for a little bit more of a wall to set up on the inside here. Has to adjust his speed, looking down the line, building up some speed on the inside section. Just going to have to settle for a float. A little bit of frustration on the finish there, I feel, for Kelly Slater. Pete. He's probably to get the best wave. Talk us through this, Flick. Yeah, what I noticed straight away is the angle on this wave was slightly different uh, to Ethan's. You can kind of see... Kelly was sort of forced to go to these carving manoeuvres uh, in the beginning, you know. Obviously, he, you could, we could see that bit of frustration in the beginning, th like three roundhouse carves to begin. It kind of stands up a bit more here for him. That was a nice turn. And wrapping back up into the pocket, you can sort of see a little bit of frustration. I know he was probably hoping for a bit more. Um, so, yeah, one thing to note is the angle on the wave just looked different to Ethan's. That's my first takeaway from it. But got one nice turn here, this one. Blows the fins out. It's beautifully done. I love that turn, but uh, he was probably... To me, he looks super inspired. He looked like he's ready. He's like got, uh, got a little pump up out the back. Look at this nugget. Wow, this thing's hollowed out. McGilvray looking for a little tube time. Finds the shade, comes out, hacks the corner. Beautiful. A little lump on the face, so a couple ribs, but looking good on that one. What do you think, Kipes? I think he's looking good on the inside here. Gets a little caught up, however, has to make up for that section. Snappy approach, a little late to the lip, but is able to put the board down under his feet for the finish. And a little applause on the cobblestones by Liam O'Brien. Checking out this heat. Between his turns, but here we're having a look at Matthew's last wave. It was kind of like he was in two minds here. Like, is it going to barrel? Should I pull in? And he decides he does. Gets a little cover up, a little shampoo. But it was this turn for me straight back up into the lip for that second one. Just the flow there was really nice. And kind of gets a little bit hung up there on that third section. Straight back up into the lip, gets the finish, but the flow on that wave probably wasn't there like I, to how he would want. Ten and a half minutes remaining. I mean, he's probably going to want to start making a move for a second wave. You know, it's interesting you think about is we'll get back to that here. Well, here he goes, staying busy. Kelly Slater off the bottom, slashes off the top, cuts that one short, looking down the line, has to float over that section, rock and roll drop. Gets back into the open face. This one's moving really fast down the point. Kelly Slater surfing fast oh. to match it. Tail slide, big turn for Slater. He wants a little bit more. The wave slows up on the inside here. Gives the opportunity for Slater to slow up his board as well. Wants a dynamic finish and throws the air reverse. Unable to attach the fins and go down. And with that, I'm going to go out into the field with AJ McCord. What do you have for us, AJ? That knowledge that he has to just design this board to what he wants it to feel like. Here's the fins at work, Flick. Yeah, fins at work right now. I honestly thought he wasn't going to pull off that floater, so that was pretty nice. But this wave, like you said, Pete, just had so much pace to it. Gets around that section and just lays into that turn, really getting a bit of progression there and sliding the fins. But he knows he needs a finish because, yeah, he need, the work wasn't done yet, so he's just bringing it through to the inside and goes for a bit more progression but can't stick the air reverse on that end section. But, uh, yeah, this floater here, I mean, this was pretty critical and really late. I, um, I, I honestly didn't think that he was going to stick this one, but he did. So coming down, legs fully extended. But well, All eyes on Ethan Ewing right now as he utilizes priority Ewing. Smooth down the line so far. Long bottom oh, turn, arcing geez. top turn. One more time, combos it up for variety with a vertical trip to the lip for Ethan Ewing. <laughs> Roundhouse combo coming on the inside, big snap, throwing the fins out the back, throws it into a reverse for the wow. exclamation point on the finish. There's no doubt he's going to get his 4.07 and then some and take the lead. Uh, best wave of the heat, uh, pretty much. He's going to go better than that last one. Was sitting wide, but see how this wave ran? So this is the style of wave he's been looking for. These waves that move down the point a little bit, and what it does is it stretches the line out and gives him the ability here to just unload. He, he surfed this wave really well. Well, we know Ethan Ewing can take it to right-hand point breaks. Took a victory, one of his two CT victories, taking a victory over at J-Bay. Flick. Yeah, he, he loves the right-hand point breaks. And 
obviously spending a lot of time on the Gold Coast too. But yeah, this first, this second carve here, this was just absolutely beautiful. Laying that board on rail, just really critical. And so sm silky smooth surfing from Ethan and straight back up into the pocket, so vertical. And just surfing this wave with so much flow, it's really beautiful to watch. Would be disastrous, but obviously <laughs> Ethan Ewing has confidence in his surfing that he's gonna complete his ride. Here goes Matthew McGillivray, he needs an eight, 0.87 so the South African needs to go excellent on this wave he knows that so he goes for the nose pick reverse and uh, he just forced that into that section uh, and that's exactly why you, you know you set yourself up Slater with priority he's deepest in that white jersey but it's gonna be a special wave because Kelly Slater needs a 9.31 this could just be a ride into the beach for Ethan Ewing let's see what he's got nice float there for Ewing gaining some yardage down the line another float <laughs> and a big turn. <laughs> you can hear uh, some screens <laughs> from the athlete area and just throwing the fins on the DHD on this one. Slater with a chance. Needs to go excellent. Drops down from a big float. Nice snap into the lip here. Quick snap to make some way down the line. Again, quick snap working down the line. Another just some check turns down the line, trying to get into that open face. Doesn't find that open face. Don't think he's going to get that 9.3 that he needs. Here's a replay flick. Yeah, a replay of Kelly's last wave. I, I really like the way he's surfing. I think he looks like he's on. Uh, that first turn was really nice. Carving maneuver. Dip, moving down the line here. He moves up into two lip line floaters. Coming up for the second one here. And uh, look, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think he looks on. And although he didn't get the win here, we will see him again. I am, yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing. He looks inspired, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. And I think this is uh, his best number, most likely. But uh, inspired Kelly Slater, and again, 51 years old, to be able to surf at this level at that age, incredible.